Matt Stern. And I'm Abby Small. And this is Adorable, Adorable Sexy Couple Set. <laughs> <laughs> Controversy has erupted in an Oklahoma town over a high school graduate who has recently denied her diploma for using the phrase, what the hell, in her valedictorian speech. Even more shocking than using the H word out loud is the report's claim that they allow high school girls to go to school in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> this week, more than one billion dollars worth of pot was uprooted from federal lands by the DEA's Operation Mountain Sweep. The pot industry was not happy, but even more devastating was the ensuing $10 billion stock drop of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> Word is out that anarchists from New York City have led a protest by blocking roads, shutting down transit, and hurling acid-filled eggs. Now, this strategy seems promising because everybody knows that the best way to overthrow the government is bad omelets. <laughs> right you are, Eddie. <laughs> a local judge in Texas recently claimed that a civil war would break out if Obama were re-elected, warning of not just a few riots, but something like Lexington and Concord. Or if the judge's knowledge of history is correct, last as long as World War II and have battles like War of the Worlds. <laughs> Fox News recently interviewed a Dr. Bradford Parsons, an orthopedic surgeon at Mount Sinai Medical Center, about some common golf injuries. Dr. Parsons cited, carrying bags as a common source of back stress. However, he forgot to mention the number one cause of golf injuries, being rich. <laughs> <laughs> it's been announced recently that Michael Strahan is the permanent replacement for Regis on the show Live with Kelly. Chosen over Seth Meyers, Strahan was most likely chosen for his talent in The Sack and skill filling gaps in TV personnel. <laughs> <laughs> agency has finally ended its battle with Lance Armstrong, banning him from cycling for life and stripping him of his seven Tour de France titles, his Olympic gold medals, and his final ball. <laughs> In political news, the band Twisted Sister recently banned Paul Ryan from using their music for campaign purposes. Despite this being a blow to Ryan's ego, anti-gay voters were glad to know that Dee Snyder would no longer be opening for the GOP. <laughs> It was recently reported that George W. Bush skipped the Republican National Convention in order to avoid reminding voters of his past failures. The GOP is calling this their peekaboo strategy because they hope that by hiding Mr. Bush, they can make him disappear. Now, granted, this strategy has not worked particularly well for Bush in the past. However, there still seems to be some hope for Newt Gingrich's Got Your Nose campaign. <laughs> A man on a Hawaii-bound flight was accused of groping a female passenger throughout the trip while she was asleep. The charges were dropped, however, when authorities realized that the woman and her breasts were in fact an African swallow carrying two coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> an Indiana inmate was accused of running a huge meth distribution from his jail cell by smuggling the drugs out inside of cell phones. Now, the operation was eventually shut down when a man in possession of one of the phones reported having a three-way conversation with Michael Jackson and Jesus. <laughs> and in other news, Apple has recently purchased the rights to this product and will be marketing it in time for Christmas as the high phone. <laughs> the Cornell Daily Sun recently deemed College Town a really disgusting and uninviting scene after the festivities of O Week. And one local resident asked Cornellians, if you can throw a ping pong ball into a cup, why can't you throw a cup into a garbage can? This bright inquiry led to the birth of some new positive drinking games around campus, such as Garbage Pong, Edward Lendahand, and Let's Get Tested for the Clap Cup. <laughs> this has been Adorable Sexy Couples News Show. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you.